say hello, Mum. Right. <laughs> we are at IKEA um, and Mum's visiting, so very appropriate time to come and film a shop with me, although we're not actually shopping today. So Mum wanted to come to IKEA basically just to browse and um, get an idea of what things look like and make a list of things that she will um, order and have delivered in Melbourne since I can't take her to go and just do a big shop at Ikea. And I figured I would kind of do the same, not for online shopping for me, more to have a browse and get an idea of things that we might like to purchase in the future. I do have a couple of things in mind, um, but I do like to sort of come and browse it. We're not really in spending mode at the moment uh, because all of July has been spending mode. Uh, so now it's just kind of window shopping, but I'm going to show you this first IKEA room. This is a little bit of a theatre room. Look, for me, theatre rooms were never a thing. We never lived in a house big enough to have a theatre room. You just have a lounge room. Um, but in Perth, they seem to be everywhere. So they've got a huge couch with a TV. Um, obviously football supporters. <laughs> uh, no, that's all just football, mum. Oh, yeah, a couple of ottomans turned into that chairs. Nice. Yeah, I don't mind that. I like these curtains. It's kind of a nice colour. Yeah, really nice colour. I think they're blackout. They are blackout curtains. So they reckon you can put this... Oh no, it's a couch. Three grand. Let's see if it's comfy. Oh, it's alright, but it's not as comfy as ours. So, what do you reckon? Oh, yeah, like ours is softer, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> alright, some little nesting tables. I kind of want some tables for the their nesting tables. Um, I want some for the theatre room, but not those ones. Oh, and that's clever. Little, like, trolley for your drinks, drinks and snacks and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I like it. I don't mind the vibe. I like yeah. these pictures, too. They're, are they pictures? No, they're Wi-Fi speakers. There you go. I like the Wi-Fi speakers. Yeah. They look cool, don't they? Yep. Thing. Yeah. Okay, something I do need. I'm going to have to write it on a list. I need some sticky roller refills. Well, I'll get them. No, I don't get them here. We'll get them down in the market hall. They're only $5. So, yeah. oh, yeah, but not here. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, you have to carry them all the way Change through the shop. Oh, okay, get it in the market right. hall. Right. In the market hall. Yeah. We're just looking at like chairs and stuff. Um, I want to try to avoid... Yeah, I don't like IKEA couches. They're just... I, I've never really found them comfortable. Um, I try to avoid, like, getting too many people in the in the shot because, you know, I try to respect people's privacy. Is that a blanket? No, it's a couch cover. Okay. I'm kind of all about the blankets at the moment because it's cold. And if you can't tell, I'm sick. And I'm sick because I was cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse anyway. Oh, very clever. Extra storage. I want to go and check out this room because it looks quite... It's busy, but it's kind of cosy. Oh, okay. It's a little bit like sort of a, an office slash arts and craft room. This is cute. Look inside. Yes, I will. Oh, oh. Someone's collecting some stuff. Um, I like these. These are quite, quite nice. Yeah, I'm into it. The desk. What? Oh, why? Why? Somebody explain to me why. I don't get it, but that's fine. This is nice. Look inside. Is it going to be more junk? Oh, okay. No, not, not really. Just stuff. I think these are shoe. Yep. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> really nice big mirror. I like that. Uh, little bits and bobs. There are some other people in here, so I won't bother. Oh, I like this. That is so sweet. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I don't think IKEA sell that. I think they've just yeah. put it there. Oh, this is soft. Oh. 
oh I stepped on it and oh, it was it's like $20. it's super plush it's not real. no of course not anyway this room is really cute I like it it's busy the wallpaper is intense there's a lot going on in here but I still like it I, d I don't know I would never I would never like it's very cluttered, it's very cluttered. I would never personally like do something like this in a room because my brain is just like overloaded but I still like it and I think it's cozy let's come through here so it's like a little outdoor setting area which I quite like there's the barbecue and stuff yeah we want to get a new barbecue is this like Charcoal barbecue. Oh, they actually sell it. I can't have got into like appliances now. I did. Is barbecue new? Um, um, look, whatever. 500 bucks. Not bad. Um, I like it. And then we just have like a little plain white kitchen. I do like this bench top. And I like that sink. Um, then we've got the kids' kitchen. I'm loving the paint color. Very nice. And then there is a section over there, but there's a man in there, so we'll leave him alone. Um, this is not my vibe, but there you go. It's, you know, it's, it's a thing. Uh, what do we got here? Like a little man slash girl cave? Kind of is. Yeah, we've got, I've got a jacket like that. Um, I like this. It's kind of girl meets boy a little bit oh well i suppose that could also be a girl's bike couldn't it no because of the pole or maybe that is a girl's bike i don't know someone will know um yeah not much going on in here okay we're gonna go and check out the chaplain's 55 meter square home let's have a look little kitchen our kitchen's no bigger than that so you know there. Can I put what on your list? The cushion? Oh All right, mum's found that. something she likes. Is it the couch or the cushion? It's actually a sheepskin cushion. Oh, okay. Feel All right, I'm going to sit on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the squishy one. Yeah. That's a feather filling. Yeah. I'm pretty put sure. All right, she wants that. Okay. It's, it's this, if you're curious. $64. And that's the cushion cover and the cushion pad. Yeah, that's good. Um, okay, this is, I mean, it's not, not too much going on in here. I've got some storage. Okay, coming out of the living room, they have like a kid's bunk bed. Uh, no, I don't really like it. I don't like it. And then a bathroom. Please use the customer toilets located near the restaurant. <laughs> it. Um, I kind of want something like this for our guest bathroom for when we have like an abundance of guests um, but I don't like don't like the quality of this one. You can see it's just like it's got like a laminate covering it's not not my vibe. I'd prefer to literally go out and get some sticks from the wild and like tie them together um this looks oh okay i don't mind the storage storage is good is this one that opens yeah yeah i really like that i look one of the things i wish our house had was bathroom mirrors that open with storage behind them because I just think why wouldn't you do that it just makes so much sense all oh, my favorite types of rooms these dark moody offices or library style rooms these are really nice I love clocks multiple clocks it's really cool I've always liked that and these cabinets are really nice. I dig it. I don't like the couch. Okay, again, we've got one of those like really super busy, so much going on sort of dining room with a kitchen area. 
and then a living room but these cabinets are what really caught my eye these are gorgeous the color is gorgeous i love it love 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 what are they these are the loma dark blue green cabinets of 5.99 and there are two side by side here i really like them like i really really like them oh oh shit um what i don't like i think it would depend what you wanted to use it for um we are in the market for like a a cabinet to sort of convert into a bar like a hidden bar and because these shelves are adjustable you can put them wherever you want um you can kind of do whatever you want with it but i'm not so sure that i love this bit in the middle i guess i would my preference would to have be have that open but can't win them all can you it is what it is that's just not the one for us but i love the color so much really nice Mum is looking at like couch bed options. I keep telling her not to get an Ikea one, but she won't listen. I've got a kid's room in here. It's like, is that Marvel? Captain Marvel? I don't know. I don't know. It's inspired by something. Okay, we have entered the kitchen area. I am really hoping that they have my favorite kitchen here. Um, Mum is looking for like a pantry option, so we'll probably take our time in this area. I'm not a fan of this kitchen. I don't really, I don't dig it. Are these, oh, okay. Are these like plasticky? Yeah, this isn't, this isn't my style. You guys know what my style is. If you've watched any of my IKEA videos in recent years, you know exactly what I want. And um, I am I am hoping that they have my favorite kitchen here. Give me a little like touch of home. Um, ooh, that makes me hungry. <laughs> I do like this style of kitchen. I would want actual bricks, like legit bricks. Um, what is this? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would like a walk-in pantry too. Um, you could put all your pots, everything. Yeah. I have been considering some of these for our pantry as well. Problem is, I want to store like, um, you know, potatoes and carrots. Not, sorry, not carrots. Um, potatoes, onion and garlic in them. And because they're wood, they can obviously absorb stuff um, and I think anyone who has ever tried to adult has had potatoes get old and gungy or onions get old and gungy in their pantry before and I just think it would be a bit risky so I'm gonna avoid that be a great walk yeah, I do like it. I think it's like, you know, it's good, good little setup. Um, they have, yeah, no, don't go that way. We're going to be exiting the kitchens if we do that, and I don't want to exit the kitchens. Um, this is a very little, little kitchen right here. Not, I'm not a fan, but that's okay. Someone will be. Oh, oh. Oh, I love those drawers that come all the way out. Yeah. Yeah. All the way. It's very satisfying. And then all this stuff hidden in here. Oh, and that's a fridge. It's a hidden fridge. Look at that. I love a hidden fridge. But what I really want is a fridge with a water filter. Chris, are you listening? Okay, we do have a black kitchen here. Oh, why does this make me feel like I'm not going to see my favourite kitchen? Um, oh, yes. Okay. Oh, I love those drawers. So, so good. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a vibe that this might be their version of the black kitchen, which I don't hate. I'm, I don't like the wallpaper. I feel like 
a lot of you would assume that I do, but I think it's, um, uh, it's just, it's too busy, um, for me, for my preferences. I think it suits the theme, um, like the black wood, the sort of gold and coppery, um, hardware. And then if you've got a lot of plants around, like, I get it. I really like what they've done up here. I think that's really super cool and clever. That's like a really smart way to sort of, you know, do something different with your glasses storage. Um, I do like this. Let's see what's inside. Oh, storage. Very good. Yeah, I like that. I like the doors. I would love a garden out there. Um, and then they have this, which I don't mind but I don't love because I feel like something like this could get really cluttered although it would be great like a little breakfast bar here to have your toaster your kettle your coffee maker all that jazz so I, I, I actually quite like the idea of this um, I just I know how messy this would look in my own house so it's not for me let's look inside Ah oh, yes, okay, okay, I like it. Little baskets, so cute. These are, I feel like I want to get some of these for me. That's good. Are they good? Ikea 365 food. Wait, oh my god, my brain was making up words there. Dry food jar with lid. That'd be good for like sugar or rice or... I don't know, biscuits and nuts and things like that. I I like it. Okay, I love the tiles in this kitchen. Love them. Black bench tops. Yeah, I like this. I really like this kitchen. Okay, hi. Um, so this is really skinny, like compact kitchen, but it packs a punch. Like, it doesn't feel like there's no room in here. So, got your... Um, things for the cooking heaps of storage we're gonna look inside here let's have a look inside yep love it love it love it love it really nice it's my favorite kitchen from ikea now going to be a black and white kitchen um love this space like we were saying before use it for prepping food serving food all that jazz um I really like these sinks too, these nice big sinks, I love these taps, I want one in our house really bad. Um, you've got some like open spaces for decorative stuff if you want, and I don't think it's too much open space, um, I think it's functional. And then you've got like a little induction cooktop that's not big enough for me, I'm just going to put it out there. I like it, I really like this kitchen. It's nice. What do you think of this one, Mum? Yeah, it's quite nice. I really like it. We're going to look inside here. Oh, my. I see. Okay. Not how I'd organise it, but that's okay. Oh, look inside. Ah, how, how do I look inside? You tell me. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. I, but it doesn't stop there, I don't think. Oh, my God. That is, oh, that's the best thing ever. This display kitchen is just under $12,000, but I love it. Wait, we're gonna go look. This is an integrated dishwasher. Oh, very good. I love it. I love it. Well done, Ikea. There's something here, that's a fridge. Oh, it's a double door fridge. <gasps> You're fancy. It's not a double door fridge. It's just two fridges. Okay. All right. I love it, Ikea. Good job. I, yeah. I would have this in my house. Okay. This one is a bit bigger. Mm, not my style, but we'll have a look. Look inside here. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. What's in here? Yep. Okay. Cool. Um... Standard fridge placement. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, you have to, 
I mean, you don't just buy the kitchen and then put it together yourself. Like somebody, um, they they measure it and or they measure your kitchen and then they design the kitchen around your measurements. The pots the yeah, that's really clever. I like that. Oh, okay, IKEA. I see what you're doing there. That is a person who loves to cook. Yeah, I'm loving this like yeah. really deep drawer with three. Yeah super smart really cool and you've got oh yep yeah, okay I, I can already see a problem can you see the problem guys how do you get them out you don't ever you can never get them out if you put them in and look they've actually got can you tell there's like another one in there as well it's too deep uh yeah no no sorry I, I don't like the idea, but you can't, you yeah, can't get them out. Going. You can't get them out. These corner, oh, I, I hate them as well, but Ikea have, look, we hate them because these usually fail. Um, but they've got a lazy Susan going on in here, which is really good for accessing stuff in these corner cabinets. I don't mind that. That's smart. Okay, this little kitchen, they're having the workman is here fixing the dishwasher. But that's what she looks like. Um, then we have this little version, which is, yeah, obviously desi designed for like studio type room, which is fine. Um, let's go around here. It's a little bit more like indoor outdoor living. I don't mind it. Congrats on your citizenship! Yay! Yeah, I like the the backsplash as well. Um, big job keeping it clean though. I mean, you can already see it. like nobody's even cooking and or cooking in here, and there's the magic. It's a problem. I love the. Um, I love the, yeah, the bench top. I quite like these little bowl sets too. Ah, uh, no, I don't think it would be. Non-porous surface, yeah. These are cute. They would be really good for serving and like carrying out, which I love, love, love. Um, and I do, I do want one of these. Um, it's a one day thing one day yeah, one day yeah. i'm gonna i think these two things will go on my personal wish list for one day yeah i could buy it for you no oh it's a butler's pantry slash laundry which is good for small spaces look inside oh i see so this is one of their cabinets for um having an integrated fridge and they've made it for other stuff which is pretty smart this pulls out which is it's you know it's pretty good pretty good pretty good all right that's cool that's clever yeah i like this i like this a lot a lot a lot very much um wait is is this another kitchen or just a that's a yeah, that is a laundry. Yeah, mum's right. This is kitchen. That's laundry. They're like same kind of design going on. Yeah, cool. We'll look inside. I always like to look inside. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get some meatballs while I'm here. Yay. There's this kitchen. I don't like the tiles at all. This is another laundry. Yeah, they're just those integrated doors. Yeah. They do a lot of that, like, storage on the wall stuff. There's another kitchen in there, but there's people in there. Guys, they don't have my black kitchen. Uh, well, that's sad. I'm really, like... A big, 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 big fan of these types of taps. And, 
god, this is gonna st sound so stereotypical and ridiculous, but I just feel like when you're washing things in a sink, like particularly pots and stuff, things like this are just so good. Rather than like trying to manipulate the pot under the tap at all these stupid angles, and the water's coming down, and it hits at some annoying angle and then squirts over here. You can just take this, rinse it inside, rinse it around the edge. It, like, give me a smart fucking tap any day. Just give it to me. Make my life easier. I love it. I want one. It's going on my wish list. I don't know if I would actually get black. Ugh, I'd be worried that it would start to look a bit rough, but... Uh, the silver one has buttons. I'm not sure if that would be any better either. I don't know. If any of you guys have purchased one of these taps from Ikea, let me know what you think of them. Problems you've had, pros and cons, all that stuff. I really, really want one and I will probably get one in the future, but whether I buy it from Ikea or another brand will be the the big question. All right, let's go find my mother. I've lost her. There she is. Okay, something Chris and I want is a new dining table. Is this one like expandable or? No, it's not. Um, but I like the, the color of the wood. I think it would be too big for us to be honest might also be an outdoor table I don't know oh I like this one too it's probably too big for our space but oh I really really like them yeah so do I I'm, yeah I'm hungry oh I I'm not gonna lie I, I want to take a bite out of that it's not even real food but I want it I don't think we, I see any tables here that would work for us oh we were thinking um, an extendable table, although that's probably not extending it enough for what we would want. It's certainly not on the Dubai list soon. It is a one day purchase. I'm hungry, I want Swedish meatballs. There's a girl's room in there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have a look. Um, and then we've got all of the beds and there is that little garden thing that Chris was like no when he saw it because he thought I'd say that I want it and I kind of do so he's not wrong okay this is Shane and George's place 25 meters squared I don't god I think it should be illegal to sell homes that small <laughs> <gasps> and like renting them out what are you doing renting them a storage unit anyway this is what we've got going on a uh, bedroom i mean they're making the most of it they need a bigger tv i'm just gonna put it out there um this is the wardrobe space which i actually quite like um i am oh oh i love lights in a wardrobe i do um I'm still waiting for Ikea to do the really big like ceiling to floor mirrors that are like sliding but not with the brakes in the middle. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. If you don't, then I'm probably just confusing you but I don't know how else to explain it. I do like this sort of black, white. This is very clean. It's very cute. But where's the shower? Where's the shower? I was saying, is the shower meant to go in here? I don't know what's happening. Anyway, um, I really like these, but I absolutely refuse to buy them now because I feel like they always leak. So I'm just not doing it. Also, I like the black version of that. I've got some really beautiful green ones, which I purchased when they first came out. Um, office nook, laundry, kitchen, more kitchen lounge room it's quite cute it's cute but it's an absolute shoe box well two people live here don't forget mum um oh, and that little fridge no nah, absolutely not a, not a little fridge no 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 
Anyway, I like how they've set it up. I think it's really, really cute. Um, but this is making me rage about the housing housing crisis at the moment. It's, it's atrocious. But Ikea designed it well, so yeah, we'll give them that. Um, this is quite nice and cozy. I'm loving the pendant light. That's really, really lovely. This bed is just screaming at me, like, just come and have a nap. I would love to. Um, I love the wall color. I love this. We're gonna look inside. Of course we are. Let's have a look. Uh, it's not very exciting. Nah, it's not very exciting either. I love this. Even though it's busy, I love it. It's cute. I love this. This is really lovely. Good job, mirror. This is beautiful. I love the way this is set up. And oh, here, I want to show you guys this. This is actually what I was talking about. Hang on a sec. So they've got the sliding mirrors for the wardrobes. As you can see, it slides, but it has these breaks in it. And I don't like it. Okay, mum's insisting that this is really comfortable and I need to sit in it, so let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Oh, 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 oh actually, it's good, isn't it? It's not too bad. I reckon a nice cushion behind the back. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yep, I like it. I quite like a hound's tooth pattern. It reminds me of like David Jones. <laughs> Yeah, you get it, you guys. And if you don't get it, then I can't explain it to you. This is the wardrobe. I really like this wardrobe. I think it's fantastic. I like it a lot. What can I say? Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. And this, this is so plush. It's like, it's like bouncy. It's like moonwalking, not yeah. not Michael Jackson moonwalking, like bouncy moonwalking. It's really nice. I like it. Okay, let's go check out another one. <gasps> oh my! Wow! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Right. Here's what I'm gonna say about this. Melbourne IKEA's. They don't show bathrooms like this. I've never seen a bathroom like this in an Ikea before, and I fucking love it. This is very Japanese inspired. Oh, what do they call them? Oh, I can't remember, but I love it. I don't think Ikea actually do this. They've just done this for the design. Really nice little toilet area absolutely beautiful shower area i love that double sink love a double sink this is integrated storage mirror and then look inside excellent love it beautiful oh we had one of these in melbourne i like it yeah i love this this is beautiful whoa is that like a what the hell? Is that two beds? I'm so confused. That must... That's got to be a king bed, right? That's a big bed. Why does that look bigger than a king? Maybe it's just a doona. Or maybe I'm just so used to sleeping on a queen. That's a big bed. I love it. That's what it is. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Um... I think what I like most about this room is the bed. The curtains go really nicely. They've got this little outdoor courtyard. Oh my God, these curtains are so soft. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I really like it. Guys, this room is one of my favorites. <gasps> yes, beautiful walking wardrobe. Oh, I love it. But look at this. Oh, it gets better. That's really nice. Oh, I don't really like this but that's okay can't win them all and then this looks like kids room okay 
Even the kids got a huge bed, which doesn't surprise me at all after seeing the the bed in there. Gigantic. Okay, let's go find the next thing that we're gonna look at. No more beds. Where's my mother? Oh, there she is. All right. This is very like feminine, soft, nice, cozy. I like it. This person loves their shoes, which is great. And they've got like a little section for doing their stuff. I love this mirror. I've said it before. I really like these round mirrors. And then we've got some more. Double shower. Double shower. Love me a double shower. Love, love, love. It's display only. God damn it. We can't move in. Oh. Oh, okay. Towel, rack, chair. I guess that's a good idea. Okay, double sink. I like it. It's not telling me to look inside, but we will. Uh, we'll look inside here because this is telling me to look inside. So this is like wall storage. That's a good idea. That's pretty decent storage, I think. For a bathroom, that's that's adequate. I like it. Nice. Really, really cute. I like it. I don't know who's designing these, but whoever has done the last few we've looked at, send them my way. Isn't it nice? It's really nice, yeah. Those pillows are like super plush. I love it. What is it? Yeah. You could put your phone in Yep, yep. They've got these, which is a good idea. Little, but that's the sort of thing Chris and I need. Although we don't even have that much space. Okay, I'm bypassing all of the office stuff because I don't, none of them have caught my eye. Um, this one's not too bad. It's got a vibe about it and I kind of like it, but I don't really like the grey cabinetry. I would have done something a little bit different. I would have gone like a dark mahogany wood, I reckon. I was thinking black, but I guess we've seen a lot of black. I just don't think the grey is... Maybe the grey would be nice if you had different coloured handles. Maybe I kind of like look. We talked about a bar earlier. I, I'm liking the bar vibe. Um, I quite like this couch as well. It doesn't look comfortable. Oh, it's actually not too bad. Not too bad. Um, yeah, I would have played more off this wood wood vibe. Get those warm brown tones. But I think it's very functional. It looks good. I also really love this oh my god i want to go back to paris so bad oh my god take me there please all right and here's all the kids stuff which is not relevant to me it's always funny to look at all the little bits and bobs that they've got mum and i always like the beds and stuff the little chairs and yeah they do have some really cute stuff for kids some good storage solutions that's cute it's very Barbie inspired. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not. We did stop for lunch. I'm starving. Mum got a kid's meal. Um, I got the meatballs and one of the scrolls. So I'm gonna try them. Uh, Mum got potato salad, garlic bread, chicken nuggets and chips. Okay, lunch is done. I'm feeling full and tired. We're down in the market hall. So no, I don't want one. Mum just says, do you want to look at this little ironing board? Yeah, really cute. She says, do you want one? Hell no. I don't iron. I will never iron. Never. I absolutely will not ever iron. You want something ironed? Do it yourself or buy clothing that doesn't need ironing. Absolutely not. Okay, so mum's like, let me buy your frying pan. Um, I threw out a frying pan that I didn't like because the bottom was sort of bowed. Yeah, it was about that size. How much are they? Um... I have actually purchased, I've purchased Ikea um, cookware in the past and i got to say I actually quite like it. Um, it does last a long time 
and we bought ours pre-COVID. And yeah, I didn't buy these ones though. I bought, pretty sure I bought these ones. No, uh, I don't know. Which ones did I buy? Yeah, I think I bought ones like this. The ones that, are they? No, I can't remember. Bugger. They weren't these because they don't, the handles didn't get hot. I know that. Um, maybe they were just these ones. Yeah, anyway, look, I what I wanted it. to say was I quite like their cookware. It surprised me. Um, it's ages. lasted for ages. We got ours pre-COVID and it's been fantastic. I'm wondering if it's maybe that tight because I know the bottoms of ours are really like full on. Could be that tight. Yeah. I don't care about. Is it no, it's too small. I don't want it, Mum. Don't worry about it. Oh. Anyway, Mum's trying to buy me a bloody frying pan. We've got them. It's okay, honestly. But they're affordable. One day, look, one day I will come and get some. Um, I'm not really into spending like hundreds and hundreds of dollars on cookware because I don't know. I'm just not. No. Yes. What is that? Okay. No, we didn't. Yeah, it was three different. We bought three different size. I bought three different sizes, and I picked them out based on what we use. We didn't buy a set. Oh, look! It is a lunchbox. What is it? Open it up. See inside. Mm -hmm. Big, yeah, it? it's like a little lunch bag. It's cute. I like it. Um, I don't want it. <laughs> I just saw it. Coming to IKEA with Mum was a bad idea. Oh. Because every time I see something I like, she's like, "I'll buy it for you." I'm like, "No, thank you." She's like, "Why not? Let me get you something." For starters, she already has. She paid for everything in the garden. She paid for. Um, and two, I don't. I said to her, and I've said this like ten times. I don't want to buy random bits for random rooms just willy-nilly because you just but no thank you I've but I've already said no several times this time it was the lazy Susan she's like I'll get it for you I'm like no I don't want it now okay one know where to store it because our cupboards are an absolute disaster mess these pillows are really nice. Uh, two, we're not hosting anyone. We don't need a lazy Susan right now until Madeline comes in September. But until then, Chris and I are having a break. Um, so, yeah. We don't need a lazy Susan right now. I don't need to spend $35 on a lazy Susan. I can do that in September before Madeline and everyone comes and then I can put together a rotating cheese board and it'll be joyous but that's not money we need to spend today all right I found something that mum can buy for me these are the hair turbans Six dollars. yes I've got two all right you let's talk it? about it yeah I've got two the one that I bought from Kmart I kind of hate because the um the elastic around here is so friggin tight and I can't wrap it around my head and I have a friggin small head um, and the other one I have is good so yes I'm gonna get one of them six bucks for a pack of two that's not bad we'll give it a, give it a shot mum's got oh, thanks mum <laughs> What about all of those things that stick in the door for the paper to? Uh, no, one day, but not two day. There is something that um, is on my wish list, but I don't think they sell it here. No, that's okay. That's fine. Okay, let's keep going. And sticky roller refills. Yeah. Something smells good here. It's got to be the candles. I'm kind of sick, so I can't really, <laughs> I can't tell what it is, but something smells nice. Okay, I found it. I found what I could smell. I don't know. I don't know what the scent is. Is it grass? <laughs> it smells good. 
I really like it. Um, I want one, but I'm not going to buy one because oh, I just don't think they have a really good uh, scent throw, unfortunately. Yeah, I really like, I don't know what that is. If we have any Swedish people watching, please let me know. Otherwise, Hayley, when you're editing this, Google it. Educate yourself. Oh my goodness, this is so good. No, it's like mixed berry. This, whatever. Okay, Haley, Google that too. You can hang them oh, they the smell so nice. You could hang that in the car. Oh in my gosh. Toilet. You know what um, IKEA need to make? IKEA, are you, you listening? One? No, I don't want one. I don't think they have good scent throw. Um, you need to make room sprays. Sprays instead of candles. Is these selling? Yes, they're just minis. Mm -hmm. They're in the little packs. All right, I'm smelling more candles. Oh, this one smells like a fireplace. Um, oh, guys, uh, what are these black roses? Um, you know what? I'm having a real difficult time. I want to buy some and see if they have better scent throw compared to the one that I had in the past. But I feel like for me once, you know? Oh, I really want to smell this black one. Love trad, it's up here. Mo romantic feel of roses and sandalwood with hints of vanilla, okay. Oh yeah, it's a bit, no, it's not, that one's not for me. Okay, they do joyful scent of berries, leafy greens and violets. Yes. Now, where was that other one? Uh, it's around here. I wonder. Let's go. I need. I need to know what this is. I need to know. Refreshing scent of newly cut grass and spicy herbs. Yes. I love it. It does. It smells like fresh cr cut grass. It does. And herbs. Accurate. And then we come to the plant. The plant section, the little plant. No, I don't want one of those ones. I want a neon. And I don't think they'll have any. I don't think I've ever seen neon pothos here, but that's okay. Uh, we'll have a little look. I doubt I'll buy a plant here, but hey, you never know. Let's get some pots. Maybe, maybe. Guys, when I want the black one, when I get my plants sent over, I reckon I'm going to buy one and use it for propagation. 59 bucks. It's new, it's a bit yes. bigger than the white one. I really love it. And you could put a light on top. Yep. Designed by Willie Chunk. Good job. Love it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Little door opens. Love that. I'm yeah. getting myself one of them. Okay, that is it. We have our little bag of <laughs> goodies. Uh, we are going to stop at the the nom nom section uh, on the way out. The foods, <laughs> the grocery I'm section. Not. You are. I will. Yeah. I will get some meatballs, uh, and that's it. I'm gonna call it oh, quits. Nice. Yeah. It was a productive little wander around Ikea, got some exercise, yeah, it was. I always like coming to Ikea, but I think the more I come, the better I get at saying no, which is like, that's become my superhero power this year, saying no <laughs> to buying stuff. Um, okay guys, that's it. Let me know if you've purchased anything from Ikea lately that you really, really love or that you really don't love. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.